Today we're going to look at the power of meditation in terms of its therapeutic capacity to help us heal, but also how we know now from extensive clinical data that it can shift the nature of the autonomic nervous system from that fight and flight response right over to the parasympathetic state to the rest and recovery. And now let's move to the meditation. It's best practice with headphones in a quiet space where you can be undisturbed. So I'd invite you to now take a seat for our meditation. So however best you can find a comfortable position, ideally keeping your back in an upright and fully supported position and just resting but attentive in terms of posture. And if it feels comfortable, you can close your eyes for the course of our time together. Now, just taking a deep breath in and breathing out as slowly as possible. Taking another deep breath in again and breathing out as slowly as possible. Just taking this time together as an opportunity to just park all that is going on in the world for you right now. Using this moment as a soulful connection, a time to really be just with yourself, a time that is designed just for you. So often we are believing that the world is demanding so much of us and in return we must give so much to this world. And yet, in the midst of all this giving, where is the time for you? Now you have that time. An opportunity to consider that there is another way. There is a possibility to move through this life carefree. A possibility to nurture and nourish ourselves. Key to that is slowing down. To find this time to just simply be where we are finding the capacity to tap into our nervous system and just to let the vagus nerve know, to let the autonomic nervous system know, right now in this moment as I sit and breathe, I'm okay. Again, just taking a nice deep breath in. and breathing out slowly. Maybe now just noticing just the contact points with your body and a chair or your cushion or the floor. Notice the support of the back. Bringing your attention to the hands, just getting a sense of tips of the fingers of the hands, just with your mind, just bringing your awareness and your attention to the tips of the fingers. Noticing any tingling or sensation there. Moving your attention and awareness to the palm of the hands. Noticing any sensation here in the palms, maybe even feeling behind the skin, just with your mind and your awareness. Again, just noticing the contact points of the body as it's connected to the ground or the floor as the mind will inevitably drift away. Just bring it back to this moment. The 
and moving up from the palms of the hands, up the arms and to the shoulders. As we arrive at the shoulders, maybe just taking an opportunity to use the breath here. Taking a nice deep breath in and a very slow and gradual exhale. As we're breathing out, just softening in the shoulders, just letting go a little bit here. Again, just taking a nice deep breath in again. A very slow and gradual exhale. The exhale is three or four times longer than the inhale. Just allowing the shoulders to soften like ice to water, just melting a little bit. Then bring the attention and awareness up to the forehead and the eyebrows. You can hold a lot of tension here in the forehead and the eyebrows. Once again, just using this time to nourish and nurture you, just sensing into any tightness or holding here in this part of the body. Again, bringing a nice deep breath in. And on the exhale, just a softening and letting go here in the forehead and the eyebrows. Again, take a nice deep breath in. Breathing out very slowly and letting go and softening here. Then down to the jaws and the jawbone. Just sensing how we are here. Again, we can be holding tightness bringing that sense of safety and carefree moment here to the jawbone. Right now in this moment, I can let go just for a moment. Again, just taking a deep breath in, bringing in that life force and energy the oxygen that needs to create life and then breathing out slowly and letting go around the jaw and the jawbone. And bringing the right hand to your heart, if that feels okay. Just making that connection and getting a sense of the palm of the hand resting against the heart. Maybe you can sense the heartbeat or not, but that's okay. Whichever is how you feel, then that's just how it should be right now. Just getting a sense of your breathing again. Noticing the inhale and the exhale. Not trying to breathe anyway, just noticing the breath as you rest your hand on the heart. Just repeating the words. Right now, in this moment, I can feel some ease. Right now, in this moment, 
I can feel some ease. Right now, in this moment, I can feel some ease. Just using that as a mantra for the next couple of minutes. So just allowing your mind to focus on the sounds. And then as you get distracted, which you will, that's perfectly okay. That's what the mind does. It will distract you. Just remember the mantra right now in this moment. I can feel some ease. Right now, in this moment, I can feel some ease. Right now, in this moment, I can feel some ease. Bringing your mind back to your mantra, right now, in this moment, I can feel some ease. Now, just letting the hand come away from the heart and rest. Just getting a sense of the whole body here. Sensing the connection to the floor. To the chair, to your cushion. How your back is supported. Your breathing may have slowed down a little. And just how possibly we can move to a sense of ease, just a little ease in the midst of all that is going on in our lives. I would encourage you to practice this simple meditation each day for a couple of weeks at the same time just showing up with you and your breath.
again, just taking a deep breath in. Breathing out as slowly as you can. Once more, taking a nice deep breath in. Breathing out as slowly as you can. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes. I want to share an incredible resource that I have available to you guys. It's a 21 day course designed to help you tap into the power of the vagus nerve. It will teach you the neuroscience, the psychology and the philosophy behind many of the theories that I use, and especially the path that I took to recover myself from PTSD and anxiety. It's a wonderful resource and I'd love you to check it out. You can access some free content immediately. There's a masterclass that you can have access to without any cost whatsoever. So go over to remotetribe.co.uk. That's remotetribe.co.uk and access the content over there. It's a wonderful resource. I've had hundreds of students who pass through this now and the feedback has been absolutely fantastic. I have some of the testimonials over there as well. So if you're interested in having a deeper dive into my work, check out my course on remotetribe.co.uk. So thank you for practicing with me today. I really do appreciate it. Please do like and subscribe to my channel because it means that I can continue to grow and to share more content to help people navigate their own challenges, their nervous system, and how we can all raise our vagal tone and connect to the power of our vagus nerve. And once more, if you're interested, please do check out my course on remotetribe.co.uk where I'd love to have you come and join my tribe of like-minded people who want to know how to better improve the nature of their well-being. I thank you for being here today. I wish you well, I wish you health, I wish you happiness. And even if this moment does not contain health and happiness for you, it can. Everything is possible. Change is possible. But we must do the work ourselves, we must continue to wake up and show up for ourselves and put the routine and structures that are needed. Until next week, my friends. Thank you.